when the altitude of the sun is 60 degree we have to find the height of the tower tan theta is equal to opposite divided by adjacent opposite is ab and adjacent is bd now by knowing the angle of elevation and the angle of depression so we are going to solve the problems in this uh, heights and distances Hello dear students, welcome to this session of basic mathematics revision class. I am Mr. Niranjan, faculty department of mathematics with SMPU College, the temple of excellence. Today in this session, I am going to discuss regarding the revision of the chapters, heights and distances in trigonometry, heights and distance, one of the application of trigonometry. Now, in this chapter, you are going to get one four mark questions. So, you are going to get one four mark question in part E from this one four marker question. So the weightage for this chapter is four marks. So you'll get one four mark question in part E. Now by knowing the angle of elevation and the angle of depression, so we are going to solve the problems in this uh, heights and distances. Now let us straight away move to the first problem. These are all four marker question. So four marks question. What is the problem? The angle of depression, angle of depression of two boards, the angle of depression of two boards as observed from the mast head of a ship 50 meters high or 45 degrees and 30 degrees. So the angle of depressions are 45 degree and 30 degree. What is the distance between the boards if they are on the same side of the mast head in the line with it? So we have to find the distance between the boards. That is very simple problem. The angle of depressions are given to be 45 and 30 degrees. Let us draw the diagram for this. So, here this is a point of observation. The angle of depression is 30 degrees and another one is the 45 degrees. This is 30 degrees and this is 45 degrees. Now, AB is the height of the mast head. So, the angle of depression of two boards observed from the mast head of the ship 50 meters high. So, the height is given to be 50 meters. Here, height is the 50 meters which is equal to 50 meters that is given the angle of depressions are 30 degrees under 45 degrees right so then what is the distance between the boards if they are on the same side of the mass so we have to find out the distance between these two now let us consider the this ab is the height ab is equal to that is 50 meters the angle of depressions are 30 degrees and 45 degrees so let ab be the must head c and d denotes the position of the board C and D will denote the position of the boards given AB is equal to 50 meters that is height 50 meters. Now suppose this is X then the angle X A C is equal to 45 degrees and the angle X A D is equal to 30 degrees. This is given the angle of depression X A C is equal to 45 degree and X A D is equal to 30 degree. Now also angle BCA from this angle BCA is equal to 45 degree and angle BDA is equal to BDA is equal to 30 degrees. Since the reason is they are parallel that is BD this line BD is parallel to AX and similarly BD is parallel to AX. So therefore these two angles C and D is equal to 45 degrees and 30 degrees. Now from the right angle triangle ABC from this triangle find out tan 45. What is tan 45? Tan theta is equal to opposite divided by tan theta, tan theta opposite divided by an adjacent side. So tan 45 is equal to opposite is AB, adjacent is equal to BC, AB divided by BC, AB by BC is tan 45. Since you know what is tan 45, tan 45 1 is equal to AB by BC cross multiply. So what you will get BC is equal to AB since AB is equal to 50 meters. So therefore we can write BC is also equal to 50 meters. B to C is equal to 50 meter. BC is equal to 50 meters. Now from triangle, from right angle triangle ABD, from triangle ABD. So what is ABD? This is ABD. Find out tan 30 degree. We have tan of 30 degree tan 30 tan theta is equal to opposite divided by adjacent opposite is ab and adjacent is bd ab divided by bd since you know ab is equal to the height 50 meters 
what is BD from the figure? BD is equal to BC plus CD. BC plus CD. Now, what is BC plus CD? BC is equal to 50 and CD is equal to X. So, this can be written as uh, yes, X plus 50. So, therefore, tan 30, 1 by root 3 is equal to AB is 50, BD is equal to 50 plus X. Okay. Now, simplify this and get the value of x. So, what is this equal to? 50 plus x is equal to 50 into root 3. So, x is equal to 50 root 3 minus 50. So, x is equal to you can take 50 common factor root 3 minus 1. That is it. Therefore, the x is equal to the distance here x is equal to what is x? x is nothing but what is the distance between the boards if they are on the same line. So, the distance between the boards x is equal to 50 times root 3 minus 1 is the distance. So, therefore, the distance between the boards is 50 times root 3 minus 1 meters. That is it. Very simple. Just what is given? Just from this two triangle, triangle ABC and ABD, get the value of BC and CD. So, that is from triangle ABD, tan 30 is equal to AB by BD. So, we know AB is also equal to 50 meter, BD is equal to BC plus CD, that is X plus 50. Substitute, cross multiply and simplify, you will get the distance between the two boards X is equal to 50 times root 3 minus 1 meters, that is it. Now, move on to the second problem. What is the second problem? The shadow of a tower, what is given here? The shadow of a tower standing on a level plane is found to be 50 meters long when sun's altitude is 30 degree. The shadow is 50 meter when sun's altitude is 30 degree. Then when it is 60 degree, find the height of the tower. So, when the altitude of the sun is 60 degree, we have to find the height of the tower. Very simple problem. Let AB be the tower. This is the tower. AB is the tower. So, here what is given when the sun's altitude is 30 degree then when it is 60 degree find the height of the tower. So, here the altitude of sun is 30 degree and 60 degree we have to find the height of the tower AB. So, let AB is the tower and the altitudes at 30 degree and 60 degree are these are the altitudes then we have to find the height of the tower. So, let the distance from B to C is X and distance from C to D is equal to 50 that is given. Now, from triangle ABC, from triangle, from triangle ABC, just find out tan 60. What is tan 60? Tan 60 is nothing but opposite AB divided by adjacent BC. What is tan 60? Tan 60 root 3 is equal to, we do not know the value of AB, AB divided by BC, BC is equal to X, right. Now, suppose if AB is equal to H, this, this can be as H divided by X, okay. Now, cross multiply and get the value of X, therefore, root 3 X is equal to H, therefore, X is equal to H by root 3, let us represent this as equation number 1, H is e X is equal to H by root 3. Second part, from triangle ABD, now from triangle from triangle A, B, D. What is the angle we have? 30 degree. Find out tan 30. Tan 30 is equal to A, B divided by B, D. A, B divided by B, D. What is tan 30? Tan 30, 1 by root 3 is equal to, what is A, B we have taken? Here, A, B is equal to H. H divided by B, D. B to D can also be written as B, D is equal to B, C plus C, D. That is equal to H divided by B to C is equal to X plus C D is equal to 50. X plus 50. So, H divided by X plus 50. Okay. Now, cross multiply, what we will get? X plus 50 is equal to root 3 into H. Now, substitute the uh, X is equal to root 3 H minus 50. Now, just substitute the value of X. What is X? X is equal to since h by root 3 is equal to x, this is from 1 substitute here. So, what happens? h by root 3 is equal to root 3 h minus 50. 
get the value of h from this. So if you transfer 50 is equal to root 3 h minus h by root 3, we can take root 3 is the LCM, root 3 into root 3 is 3 h minus h. So 50 is equal to 2 h divided by root 3 or cross multiply 50 root 3 is equal to 2 h. Therefore, h is equal to 50 root 3 divided by 2 that is 25 times root 3. So, therefore, h is equal to 25 into root 3, 25 times root 3, that is it. So, therefore, so what is the answer? There when, when it is at 60 degree, the height of the tower is, so therefore, the height of the tower h is equal to 25 times root 3 is the height of the tower, that is it. This is how we are going to solve this problem. Now move on to the third problem. An aeroplane when flying at an height of 2000 meters passes vertically above the another plane at an instant when their angle of elevation from the same point of observations are 60 degrees and 45 degrees respectively find the distance between the aeroplanes. Right, this is also an important problem. So an aeroplane when flying at an height of 2000 meters passes vertically, vertically another plane at an instant when their angle of elevations are found to be 60 degrees and 45 degrees, find the distance between the aeroplanes. Now, just let us consider, this is the diagram, let A and B are the aeroplanes, A and B. So, A and B are the aeroplanes, let H be the distance between the aeroplanes. So, the distance between first and second aeroplane is H. So, that is AB is equal to H here, AB is equal to H, the distance between the aeroplanes is H, H. Then what is given, A, is, A to C is given, that is AC is equal to 200 meters and BC is equal to 200 minus H, the angle of elevations are given to be, then the angle of elevations are found to be 60 degrees and 45 degrees, that is given. Now from this triangle ACD, from triangle, from triangle A, C, D. So, A, C, D, just find out tan 60, tan 60, tan 60 is equal to, what is tan 60 from big triangle A, C, D, tan 60 is equal to A, C divided by C, D, A, C divided by C, D. Now, what is tan 60, tan 60 is equal to root 3, is equal to, we know AC is equal to 2000, AC is equal to 2000 divided by CD, the distance from CD is not now. So cross multiply, if you cross multiply, what you will get? CD into root 3 is equal to 2000, therefore CD is equal to 2000 divided by root 3, CD is equal to 2000 by root 3, okay. Now, just from this triangle BCD, from triangle BCD, again from triangle BCD, what is the angle of elevation that is uh, the angle is how much? 45 degree, find out tan 45 degrees. So tan 45 degrees is equal to, tan 45 is equal to BC divided by CD, BC divided by CD, tan 45 1 is equal to BC, what is the BC? 2000, 2000 minus H divided by CD. So cross multiplied, therefore CD is also equal to 2000 minus H. 2000 minus H is the value of C to D, right? Now from equations 1 and 2, now from CD is equal to 2000 by root 3 and another equation CD is equal to 2000 minus H, substitute here. So, 2000 by root 3 is equal to 2000 minus H, cross multiply this. 2000 is equal to 2000 root 3 minus root 3 H, that is transfer this root 3 H is equal to 2000 root 3 minus 2000, you can take common factor, root 3 h is equal to 2000 into root 3 minus 1. So therefore, h is equal to 2000 into root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3, that is it, okay. 
So, therefore, the height is equal to 2000 into root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3 meters. That is it. This is how we are going to solve this problem. Now, move on to the next problem. This is also an important problem. From a point on the line joining the feet of two poles of equal heights, the angle of elevation of the tops of the poles are observed to be 30 degrees and 60 degree. If the distance between the poles is, is A, A is the distance between the poles, find the height of the poles and the position of the point of observer. So, here a point on the line joining the feet of two poles of equal heights. So, two poles of equal heights, the angle of elevations of the tops of the poles are observed to be 30 degrees and 60 degree. If the distance between the poles is A, then height of the pole and the position of the point of observation is to be determined. Very simple problem. Here, let A, B and C, D, A, B and D, A, B and D, E are the two poles. Let us consider two poles, A, B and D, E. What is given? The angle of elevations are given. That is, for triangle A, B, C, it is angle of elevations are 30 degrees and 60 degrees, right? C is the midpoint. Here, what is given? So, B to D is the distance that is given by A. B, D is equal to A given and C is the midpoint. Now, just what is given? The angle of elevations, the angle of elevations are found to be 30 degrees and 60 degrees. Now, consider this triangle from this triangle A, B, C, from triangle A, B, C, tan 30 is equal to A, B divided by B, C and similarly from this triangle C, E, D, tan 60 is equal to, tan 60 is equal to D, E divided by D to E divided by C, D. Now, let us consider the first triangle, from triangle, first triangle A, B, C, from triangle A, B, C, tan 30 is equal to A, B divided by B, C, right. What is tan 30? 1 by root 3 is equal to A to B. A, B is equal to H divided by B, C. B, C is equal to X, right. So, let us uh, cross multiply. What is to find the, just to find the value of H. So, cross multiply X is equal to root 3 times H. This is equation number 1. Now, from this triangle C, E, D, C, E, D. Find out tan 60 from triangle C, E, D tan 60, tan 60 is equal to tan 60, tan 60 is equal to D E divided by C D, D to E distance divided by C D distance. What is tan 60? Tan 60 is root 3 is equal to C D, C D is equal to C D is equal to A minus X and D E is equal to H, H divided by A minus X. If we cross multiply, what we will get? A minus X into root 3 is equal to h. Now, so let us represent this as equation number 2. Let us solve equation number 1 and 2. Solving 1 and 2, 1 and 2. What is equation number 1? x is equal to root 3 h and equation number 2 is a minus x into root 3 is equal to h. These are the two equations, right? Now, just put since x is equal to root 3 h here. So, what happens? a minus x is root 3 h into root 3 is equal to h. Simplify this. Root 3 into a minus root 3 into root 3 is root 3 whole square is 3 h is equal to h. Root 3 a is equal to h plus 3 h that is 4 h is equal to root 3 into a. So, therefore, h is equal to, what is h is equal to? h is equal to root 3 divided by 4 times a. h is equal to root 3 by 4 a, okay. So, therefore, the height of the pole, height is equal to root 3 by 4 a meters, height of the pole, okay. It is root 3 by 4 into a meters is the height. Now, to find the, the position of C from B is X. So, therefore, X is equal to, what is X? X is equal to root 3 times H. X is equal to root 3 times H. Now, substitute the value of H. That is equal to 
root 3 into what is h since h is equal to root 3 by 4 times a. So, root 3 by 4 times a. What happens? So, therefore, x is equal to root 3 into root 3 is 3 divided by 4 times a. So, 3 by 4 times a is the value of x. So, therefore, what is the conclusion? Therefore, the height of the pole, height of the pole is equal to, what is the height of the pole we got? Root 3 by 4 a. Height of the pole is root 3 by 4 a. And the position of the point of the observer, the position of the point of the observer is 3 by 4 a. 3 by 4 times a. This is the final answer. That is it. Move on to the next problem. Two towers of height 14 meters and 25 meters stands on the level ground. The angle of elevation of their tops from a point on the line joining their feet are 45 degree and 60 degree respectively. Find the distance between the towers. So, we have to find the distance between the two towers. Now, here very simple. Let AB, the height of the tower is AB is equal to 25 meters and the height of the tower DE is equal to 14 meters of the two towers. This is given. So, given the angle of elevation, angle of elevation that is ACB is equal to 60 degrees and uh, DCE is equal to 45 degrees. The angle of elevations are found to be 60 degrees and 40 degrees from the point C. So, right. Now, the distance from B to C is X and the distance from C to E is equal to Y. Let BC is equal to X and C is equal to Y and the total distance is to be determined. That is it. Right. See here. What is given? The two towers, two towers of height 14 meters and 25 meters. So, it is AB is one tower and uh, CD, DE is another tower. AB is of height 25 meters and DE is of height 14 meters. They are kept at a distance. That is BE is the distance which is to be determined. C is the midpoint. The angle of elevation from this is found to be 60 degrees and uh, 45 degrees for A and B. So, what is to find is X plus Y. Right. Now, from right angle triangle ABC, from triangle ABC, from triangle ABC, find out tan 60. Tan 60 is equal to AB divided by AB divided by BC. What is tan 60? Tan 60 is equal to root 3, AB is equal to 25 and BC as it is, that is nothing but 25 by x cross multiply what happens root 3 x is equal to 25 or x is equal to 25 by root 3. Let us represent this as 1. Now similarly, so from triangle DCE from triangle from triangle DCE from triangle DCE what is tan 45? Tan 45 is equal to DE divided by CE, DE divided by CE, tan 45 is 1 is equal to D to E, the distance is 14 meters, 14 meters divided by CE, cross multiply, therefore CE into 1 is CE is equal to 14 meters, C to E is equal to 14 meters, right. So, what is CE from the figure? So, CE is nothing but Y, since Y is equal to CE, Y is equal to 14 y is equal to 14. Now, from, now what is to find? To find the distance, find the distance between the towers. So, B is to be determined. From 1 and 2, B is equal to x plus y. B to E is equal to, what is x? x is equal to 20 by, 25 by root 3 plus y is equal to 14. Simplify this. So, you can take LCM. B to E is equal to root 3 is the LCM. 25 plus 14 times root 3. That is it. So, therefore, the distance between the towers distance is equal to 25 plus 14 root 3 divided by root 3 meters. That is it. This is how we are going to solve this problem. So, the distance between the two towers is 25 plus 14 root 3 by root 3 meters. That is it. Hope you follow. So, these are few problems for a formula. So, you may expect this type of question for your final examination for a formula. This is a sure question, right. So, that is all regarding today's session. Let us meet with a different concept in the next session. Thank you. Thank you very much.